this record will give you a complete overview of how to upgrade your Citrix environment. Okay, we need to follow the Citrix process. Go to Google and we can check that how to upgrade Citrix. Yeah, LTSR. 7.15 to 1912, 1912 to 2021. So process are same. Just follow the documentation. So this is the documentation we need to follow. This is the workflow we need to start here. Step by step, you need to do that. First, start preparing, upgrade the license server, upgrade the storefront server, upgrade the director, upgrade the Citrix Pivoting Services. Upgrade off of the delivery controllers, upgrade studio, restart studio. So now the we need to follow these steps. So here in this step, the step number one, we need to prepare. Upgrade VDS to 1912 LTSR. Okay, VDS means the machines we need to upgrade it first. Okay, what are the limitations is there? We need to check this. So first we need to follow this documentation. What are the VDS upgrade to 1912 or later version? So we need to follow this documentation whenever you free. Okay. So the operating system limitations are there. You can check this. So right now, what is operating system we are using? 2016 operating system. So here 2016 operating system, anywhere it is available. Up to 2012, up to 2012, Maximum 1912 is available. Okay. So even 2003 also we can upgrade. So there is a, some problems will raise this. So for 2016, we don't have any problem. We can directly upgrade the server. And what are the limitations for this upgrade? You can check this limitation guidelines, they'll be provided. So what are the limitations they'll be provided here? Okay. And next, uh, the process is. Mixed environment concentration. Your uh, delivery controller is in different version. Your VDA is in different conditions. You need to check this. But in our condition, all are same options. Earlier operations operating system. So like a OS level, any operating system, you need to check that. So these are the operating system. We need to compare it. So as per standard wise, all the controllers, uh, studio, director, storefront services, everything were installed on the proper operating system, 2016 operating system only. And the preparation, okay, preparations for upgrading of all the VDAs, geographical location, which location is available, what are the database connections are available, everything you need to note down in the Excel sheet. Then after, So preliminary site test will be there. Preliminary site test. You can do the preliminary site test. So site test you can do easily. Go to your environment and go to Citrix uh, Studio. Okay. Click yes. If any problems are there, it will be showing there. But mostly problems are not available. Okay in our environment. So test site option is there. Here one option in the right side. Test site, test catalog, test delivery. I'll show you the test site. Once you click that, it will be comparing 
all the settings are working fine or not. We'll check that. So 237 tests are doing now. So please wait. If any warnings are failures, first we need to fix, then we can go ahead. So you can ignore the warnings, not a problem. Only failure alerts only you need to check that. So all tests are successfully completed. If you want to show report, you can click here. Okay. This is a way we can check the site, mission catalog, delivery group. We need to test here. Okay. So next. Uh, I need to go for SQL server version checkup. So SQL Server team will take the backup of the server and they'll continue. So now I'm going for upgrading the license server. Now I'm going for upgrading the license server. So before going, I need to take a backup of the server, then I need to install it. So first I'll go to Citrix Zen Center. This is a license server. I need to take a snapshot. Before upgrade. Okay. The complete memory also I'm taking. This will take some time. So meanwhile, I'll connect the server. I'll connect the server with the WinSCP. I'll check that. I will check that. Okay. I'll check that. Where is my uh, ISO files are located? On my Zen server. Okay. The Zen server IP address is 192.168.1.0.1. Oh, not one. root and password okay. 
So successfully connected. This is the uh, 2012 ISO file. I need to locate it to exact location. This is ISO repository is there. In ISO repository, the softwares are uploaded. Okay. So where is the ISO repository? I need to check here in this server. Let me pause the record. We have successfully copied the file 7 dot version 2012 into this location. Now I'm closing here. Next step, I need to check that snapshot is successfully created or not. Hmm. I can go to console and the console at uh, the latest uh, 2012 is not showing there. Probably I need to close this Zen Center, I need to reconnect. So now I can go to license server console. The option is not showing. Let's check here and uh, go to storage ISO. Let me connect with the putty and I can check this. So, right now I'm in slash root, slash cd cd that, cd where, cd sr hyphen mount, ls cd, cd iso, Yeah, the software is available here. 
2012, but it is not showing. So I think so. Uh, we need to reboot the server. Okay, reboot the complete physical server, and we need to check that again. It will take some time. Okay, so Dora, can you please restart the server after this class and check and let me know oh, in the WhatsApp group whether it is uh, working or not. That means we can connect to the server, go to the console, go to the console. Once you drop down list, okay, the 7.2012 virtual apps, virtual desktop software should be presented. That is not happening now. So please cross verify that, okay? And I can do the last uh, step now. Maybe I can, I can disconnect and reconnect and try that, okay? No, it's not there. Huh? So can please verify and let me know, okay? We'll continue the class tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, Rajiv. Thank you, bye. So this class, uh, I'm not uh, recording. I'm just canceling it, okay? Thank you. All right, thank you.